And welcome back to Ben Allen Fieldhouse tonight. The Lady Scotties overwhelming the 14th rank. The Lady Greyhounds of Fort Scott in three sets straight, 25-17, 25-18, and 25-19. With me, head coach John Bingesser. Congratulations, coach. Thanks, a great Russ. Victory. What are your thoughts on the night? I thought we played exceptionally well. We took control right off the bat, which was something that we struggled with this season um, starting. And we, we definitely got our offense established right away. Um, in the past, we've had trouble getting going. And today, that was our sole focus, was get, it, get our offense started right off the bat. Let me worry about what their offense is going to be. And then we would adjust it from there. You trail by no more than four points in any of the sets defensively and offensively. The girls seem to handle the adversity real well tonight. What are your thoughts on that? Well, they did. I, we knew Fort Scott was going to be good. They are good. They're, those girls, just their, their bodies, all of them look, look like, like what a volleyball player should look like. And, and, you know, that can be very intimidating, but at the same time, so do we. And I think that was kind of a, we did a, like a perspective, a reevaluation of where we stand, mm -hmm. and I think that that helped us um, eliminate an intimidation factor today. You've won seven of your last eight. You've won four in a row. Your only two losses in region and conference have been ranked opponents. What do you expect right now from your team right now when you go into this weekend down at San Diego County? I, I expect us to continue with this, and I expect us to play hard this weekend. I said if they win today, they will be rewarded for it this weekend, and we will hopefully see ourselves in those national rankings next week. The Osho County defeated Johnson Knight in their first set. Uh, you play them a week from tonight, 5.30 here at Fieldhouse. What are your expectations of Neosho County? I think Neosho is going to be the same as everybody. They're going to want to win more than anything. They're going to fight. They're going to be aggressive. Uh, they beat Fort Scott in five um, last week, and so I know that they'll be tough, just like mm -hmm. every conference team is. Overall tonight, offensive defense along the front line, your girls played extremely well. It wasn't that Fort Scott would look lackluster. They had their opportunities, but you seemed to shut them down before they could get a run going. Yep. Um, was that something that you knew coming into tonight that possibly you could take an advantage of? Definitely. Your girls. Uh, we we watched film and we we actually we had a, a night off and the, some of the girls drove down and watched him play at Johnson County. So we were we were very very prepared for what they were going to do. Cool, cool. Well, again, congratulations on a big win tonight over the 14th ranked team in the nation. And best of luck to you down in the Osho over the weekend, coach. Thank you so much. Sure enough. We'll See be back in just a bit with Shaylee Carl. You've been watching the Sky Sports Network. Hang in there, folks. And welcome back to the Coach's Show. Tonight, Lady Scotty down the Lady Greyhound in three sets straight. With me right now is Shaylee Cottle. Shaylee, a 5'8 sophomore out of Atchison, Kansas. Shaylee, congratulations tonight. Thank you. Had a really good night. I had you unofficially with nine kills on the night. You had a monster night the other night against uh, Labette with a season high, 19 kills and 17 bigs. What was your opinion tonight of the Lady Hounds? Um, we were just in control the whole game. All of us were on. We had our middles going, we had our defense going, and our outsides were just swinging, and they just couldn't stop us. It seemed like you had a perfect game plan tonight. Whatever they came up with, you guys had an answer for. Mm -hmm. You never let them get very far ahead, no more than four points during yeah. any set. Was that something that Coach expressed to you this week in practice? Yeah, what we try to work on is starting strong, and in all the games we started strong, and we didn't really let them get ahead of us except in the third game, but then we fought back and mm -hmm. took the lead. You've got Mariana in there, or you, you got Tyresha in the middle. That's a pretty big force yes. defensively. But you're coming in on, on that outside corner that you're starting to dominate here on that left side. Mm -hmm. Do you feel more comfortable on the left side than that than the right side? Yes, I do, do definitely. Is that where you played in high school? Mm -hmm. Well, again, again, thank you for checking in with me tonight. And again, the Lady Scotty down the 14th ranked Lady Greyhounds tonight in three sets straight, 25-17, 25-18, 25-19. They go to Fort, or they go to Neosho County this weekend for four matches in the tournament. Then return home against the Lady Panthers on Wednesday, October the 5th, a week from tonight, and been down field out. So for John Miller, Tyler Mordman, Shaylee Cottle, Russ Constant. Good night, everybody.